The Queen has hailed the friendship and community represented by a newly planted rose named after one of Britain's first black gardeners being planted at Buckingham Palace. A yellow rose honouring the 18th century horticulturalist John Estumelin was given a spot at Buckingham Palace Rose Garden on Monday and is expected to bloom within. The rose is named after the black horticulturalist, who died in 1786 is believed to be the first bearing the name of an ethnic minority. It was set next to the Graham Thomas Rose, which is named after another famous gardener who died in 2003. In a statement today, the Queen said, I am pleased that the John Estumelin Rose is being planted in the Buckingham Palace Gardens. The rose has been bred as a mark of friendship and community, and I hope guests and visitors to the garden will have the opportunity to reflect on what this rose represents for many years. The rose was planted in the palace's rose garden on Monday by Claire Midgley Adams, the deputy gardens manager for Buckingham Palace, and Sarah Zaidi a diversity campaigner and founder of the We Too Built Britain campaign, who both took turns with it. Watching on was head gardener Mark Lane, who stood with an audience of representatives from gardening communities from a, a further 5,000 John Estumelin roses, bred in Hertfordshire by Harkness Roses have been donated to community garden schemes across the country. Twenty have been planted around Crickyuth Library in North Wales, where Mr. Estum Mr. Estumlin arrived in Gwynedd, North Wales, from West Africa in 1746, aged eight, becoming a servant and then a gardener on his family's estate. An account of his life in the Dictionary of Welsh Biography published many years after his death suggested that he was kidnapped while in Af. It also noted that he was baptized once he moved to Wales. He married a local girl, Margaret Griffith, who was a maid on the estate in what is believed to be Wales' first interracial marriage, and was popular when I was trying to highlight the need for diversity in horticulture. I thought his story was perfect because it really was about community and love and friendship, diversity campaigner Tsaraza. It's a symbol of love, love overcoming adversity and a community really valuing diversity and e after these difficult times with the pandemic, we need something to bring us all cheer, and like John and Margaret, we're all romantics in the end. Yvonne Field, a charity founder who watched the planting, said, to know that's it here for posterity. It's here for hundreds of years to come, for me that's real. It's unearthing hidden stories, 300 years it's been hidden. Often black history is hidden in this country, and we have made such a great contribution over decades and centuries. The plaque which commemorated the day read, the first well-recorded black person in North. This rose symbolizes friendship community and tolerance. The rose has inspired a community gardening scheme to support community connections and mental health. 